Hi family! Welcome once again to Simmer's Healthy Recipes and thank you for joining the Healthy Recipe family. So I came your way with this delicious shito recipe. So this can be a compliment for all your rice recipes this festive season and other dishes as well. And oh, very soon our children will be reopening school and this shito is easy to prepare. And trust me, the ingredients are also not too much. Let's get into it. So I have with me some onions, some garlic, to that I'll add some cumin, some rosemary, anise seed, and calabash nutmeg. So I have this steak season that I've been using for a while and it tastes so great. So to that I'll add some steak seasoning. So I also have some ginger. And ginger peels have its own benefits. So I decided to peel half and then leave the other because the other was in the freezer. I have my tomato paste. And I also have some powdered dry hair rings, which I prepared myself and then shrimp powder. So very soon I'll drop that recipe as well. So in my blender, I'll put in my onion, garlic, cumin and the other spices and then blend so i will not add too much water because you know it's shito and we don't want our shito to be watery else it will take a longer time to cook I also go ahead and then blend my ginger and set that also aside. Now I have some powdered pepper as well. In a pan, I'll put in some oil. Actually, this shito was an order I got and then I decided to share the recipe with the healthy recipe family. So to that, I'll add my blended onions. So specifically, the person didn't want much oil. So I tried my best to reduce the oil as I can. So I give it a good stir and then allow it to cook so i realized the oil was too little so i added more to it but not too much i think now it's okay so to that i'll add some bay leaves and then give it a quick stir So I'll fry this until all the water evaporates from our onions. So from time to time, I'll be stirring so it doesn't get bent.
So Akshitsa is cooking beautifully and most of the water has evaporated from the onions as you can see. So I'll go ahead and then add my tomato paste. So I'll give this a very good stir to avoid lumps. And I'll make sure that the tomatoes is combined very well with my onion mixture as well. So now that our onions are dry and I've added my tomato paste, I'll fry this for about 20 minutes. And then I'll go in with my ginger paste. So when the ginger paste goes in, you do not stop staring. Because if you do, your shita is going to get bent. So you continuously stir till it's cooked. So I'll cook this and make sure that there is no water in my mixture. So now most of the water has evaporated and to that I'll add my fish powder. So I'll put it in bit by bit and then continue to stir. As I was preparing this shit all, a neighbor I share a wall with shouted, Auntie Ajua, Pachona Yashitono, meaning, are you the one preparing the shito? And I laughed. Trust me, the aroma was everywhere. And it's not just the aroma, it tastes delicious as well. Now I'll go ahead and add my shrimp powder as well. Give it a very good stir. And I allow this to cook for about 20 minutes. You know, shito needs time to cook. So when you you bag them or put them in your bottles, it doesn't go bad. So after 20 minutes, I'll go in with my powdered pepper. Give it a very good stir. And to that, I'll add my seasoning. So I added some goat and beef seasoning, some nutmeg, all pepper seasoning, and curry powder. I 
I give it a very good stir. And then let this cook on a medium low heat for about 15 minutes. But I'll be stirring continuously. And our shitter is ready. So if today is your first time watching, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share. So you can prepare this recipe and give me a feedback in the comment section see you in my next video and remember the greatest wealth is health bye